So it is summer in Bend and cheatgrass season for sure. Cheatgrasses are the little pieces of grass that are kind of arrow shaped that love to get caught in dog's fur and just migrate forward and become big problems. So today we're gonna to show you how to look after a walk or at the end of every day in summertime, finding cheatgrass on your dog to try and prevent any further issues. So the biggest spot that I see it is in between the toes, on the ears and in the nose. The toes is a really easy spot to check. And in between each of these little digits down here, the cheatgrass like to come up in the webbing and migrate straight back to right here at the base of the digit. And the best way to look for them is to just separate high up there and then feel around. And oftentimes you'll feel a little poke if there is a cheatgrass there. And you can just spread the fur, reach in and pull it out. Maverick doesn't have any right now, which is great. So all of the digits can get that. And some dogs that have dew claws might even get them caught up here as well. So make sure to check all the toes. And then the next spot you can try and look for is up in the ears. The ears are hard to see deep down in, but you can start to pull the flap up and the canal down and see if there's anything irritating right at the base there to pull it out of this outer ear canal. Some symptoms you might expect if your dog does have cheek grass is they might be licking their feet really often, they might be sneezing if it's stuck in the nose, or they might shake their head a bunch if it's stuck in the ears. The last place we see cheek grass is if it gets stuck in the tonsils. And unfortunately, there's not a great way to check for that at home, but you can check at underneath their lips and make sure there's nothing stuck up here. Do a good scoop all the way back. Make sure you don't get any in the lips and maybe that'll prevent them from getting back into the tonsils. If there is something in the tonsils, I usually see them hard swallowing or sometimes gagging, so they'll kind of and stretch their neck. And if you're seeing that, it probably means they need to come in to get checked out, because oftentimes we have to sedate those guys to go in and pull the cheatgrass out of the tonsils before they become an abscess. A lot of these, though, can be prevented by just brushing your dog and checking in these spots at the end of every walk or at the end of the day during the summertime. Our biggest months for cheatgrass are July, August, and September, so we're right in the thick of it right now.